just waiting for it to start. All right, so we are starting the broadcast. Today is May 17th. Um, the weather is good. The moods are high. Uh, we have nice uh, show of the participants. We have um, Erica. Can you Erica and Sandy here off camera. But you know, Sandy was in the past on camera. And Erica is new. Welcome, Erica. We do. Uh, so what we are? We are a loosely defined group of light workers uh, united around the site humancolony.org humancolony.org. Also, it can be abbreviated to unique identifier Hucolo, H-U-C-O-L-O. -O. So if you Google for Hucolo, you will find us very easily. You can also find us on YouTube. We have a channel there where we have hundreds of videos which are really nicely watched by others. Most popular is the channeling of Jesus. And Jim's channels, extraterrestrials, from the alliance called Gurkfitnir, which is Lirans, Pleiadians, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Friendly Reptilians, and I'm missing one more species. Lins. Nope. Arcturians, of course. Yeah. Arcturians. Oh, and, yes. we have, oh, I... and we have the short blue, short blues, not not the tall Pleiadian blues, but short Pleiadian blues, like Cash, like Cash, and he is welcome. He was silenced for a few uh, sessions because he misbehaved and wanted to give us some more information than he was permitted. But he's, uh, we expect him to come soon. Yes. Also, we have great uh, d development that people started speaking alien languages and watch our previous broadcasts when people dialogue with aliens and with each other in Liran language, a Pleiadian, uh, there was Arcturian language, angelic language and few more languages and some of them were unidentified and we know a few words in uh, 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 Liran Wuha is hi, Muha is bye and we in Arcturian means we love you <laughs> um, so uh, a few words, yeah. and another great development is um, we have people in our uh, Loosely defined group of light workers, ground team. Uh, two more people just started channeling recently publicly. They may have been channeling the whole life, but now they channel for others. And as you know, we really welcome that. Now we are blessed. We have multiple connections to the higher levels. Wonderful. Um, two of them, Jim and Nick, are available for private sessions. Go to the website humancolony.org and uh, you will find their Jim's private sessions, Nick's private sessions, all the contact information is there. Uh, ideal is Skype, but you can contact through telephone and email and... Uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, don't... They, the phone works, and like the phone, and also somebody didn't even have a phone or Facebook or something, so they're going to... Write email me seven questions, uh -huh. for the same price as the thir the the thirty three dollars. So that's another option as well. What's your prices for half an hour? You charge you you charge. Well, I just charge thirty three dollars for forty five minutes or sixty six dollars for an hour and a half. But it usually goes way over that because I talk so freaking much. And, and the number is mystical, right? Thirty-three and sixty-six are dear to you. Yeah, it's more. Uh, well, the the vibrational number themselves is going to draw more positive energy to me and to the person that gives it, because the act of giving is the same as the act of receiving. Okay. Can you move the camera down so we can see your mouth? Because when you kneel down to microphone, we can see your mouth. Okay, I can just hold Nick, the microphone. Nick, do you have a way to record your sessions for those who? Uh, I can figure We are working out. on that. There are several programs. Pamela is most easy and it's paid program. So if you want easy way, buy Pamela. And I'm installing um, the program which I uh, already bought, Super Tint, and it records video also. Yeah, a lot so of I will install it for Dream. Sessions recorded. And, and I'm using Pamela right now. It, I did record one session so far. Yeah, some people actually just don't want that. They don't want it recorded at all. So. A, a lot of people ask me for that, so I... Yeah, some I'm, people want it. I, I want to be able to just uh, record it and just uh, send it to them. And I'm going to add like 13 bucks for that. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> How much do you charge for your sessions? Uh, I have been charging 
uh, 40 and 45 for a half an hour, but... Um, Yours always go way longer. <laughs> no, actually, we uh, they control it pretty much, so... Oh, yeah, so, well, they talk a lot sometimes. Yeah, uh, the aliens are pretty good about time periods, so if I ask them to stay within parameters, they usually, they run over about 10 minutes at the most. Yeah. And now we switch from commercial part to questions. Uh, anybody has urgent questions to ask before we start channeling? For the aliens. I'm inviting questions for the aliens. I'm going to ask if I'm ready to start channeling myself. Very good. Because it's nice to, to define the topic. All right, my main question is, I got a pretty bad headache right here, and it felt like an implant behind the ear and down there. And it was giving me jolts of pain, like shocks every couple minutes at random, and it wasn't connected to anything else. It wasn't my mood, not even the Reiki didn't help much. It didn't bother me when I meditated or was asleep. So I, my, my guess is, did it try me to push me to meditate all the time, or was it just misbehaving? So I, that's my, would be my question for the for the, and, or it could be a micro stroke or something. I don't know what was that, but it started right after channeling with a uh, draconian king and reptilian general with Nick, and it's just subsided only just before that session. For four days, I was completely unable to do any, anything smart, and I was afraid also. Mm -hmm. So that will be my question. Uh, any more questions before we start? How can we, as human beings, communicate with other ET beings that would be comfortable for us? C can you move the camera down so we see your mouth? Yeah. There you go. And, uh, the reptilians are not gentle. Can you move the camera down so we see Nick's mouth as well? I can't do that for <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Max. Can, can, can you repeat the question? Uh, how, how, as human beings, we can communicate with extraterrestrial? It doesn't have to be like the channeling way. If I want to communicate with the ET beings, and how, to, how do I separate myself from the ET beings and understand if I'm communicating? With different it beings, who's who? Um, okay. Do you understand that? It's a little confusing question, but I, 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 I can answer that one. All right, okay. I can probably answer that one. Let's not time. answer any okay. questions now, but okay. at least we understood. Any more questions? Well, I had a health-related question also. Yes. You were um, asking so. Okay, um, so my back hurts, uh, and my um, neck hurts. I want to ask why and how do I uh, get better? What's the kind of pain? Is it typical arthritis or is it something else? What? What kind of pain is that? Is it the typical arthritic pain which helps by aspirin and ibuprofen, or is it something no, else? No, no, no. It's like a constant pain. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like a constant pain. So, uh, and I think it's like um, from my mother and my ancestors also. When How can I break the cycle? You know. When did it start? Uh, it starts fairly recently, like um, two months ago. But the neck pain I have like a year, two years. Okay. Also, Nick, if you start channeling, I welcome. Uh, two or three channelings to happen at the same time, but, uh, you know, take uh, some time, maybe three or five minutes, but don't take the whole time of Jim's. We'll do your channel separate and Jim's. So today we focus on Jim's channel. Nick, you there. Okay, good. Uh, I think that's about it. How about oh, uh, we were ask Max, anybody else? Yes. Yes, I just thought of a question. Uh, Cobra announced that today, 8 o'clock, my time, um, there's going to be a huge ship, a huge Pleiadian ship, like miles and miles long, okay. which, will, which will appear, okay. and maybe not everybody can see it, but they will neutralize the reptilians, the, the reptilians who want to, who are holding the ETs hostage with bombs on the earth. 
uh, they will neutralize them today. That was the announcement. And I'd, I'd probably ask if that's true from their perspective. What place of the ship? Um, it's they're going to appear, I think, in... Uh, I'm not sure where they will appear, but they will be a ship which is miles and miles long, big, okay. huge, long, and they're going to re uh, neutralize the reptilian bombs which are on the Earth holding the other ETs hostage from taking more action. Okay, I got it. This was People an announcement. Welcome, yes, the ships are welcome. Yes. I will, but I, will, I want to ask if that's true or not. I just want to ask if that's true. Because that's a big deal, because once the bombs are neutralized, then the ETs can do more on the Earth. I the understand. Yeah. Okay, Anything thank else? you. All right. Last time, somebody, or oh, in comments, somebody uh, suggested that we start with a with a medita guided meditation um, towards Earth health. Yes. Can, can you do a little, just a short, and then you do your um, your thing. Okay, let me prepare for a second. All right. Um. And everybody, mute your telephones and microphones. And here too, your telephone's on mute, right? It's it's off. Very good. All right. So, okay, very good. <laughs> turn your phones off. Yeah. Are you cold, Erica? I could turn up the heat a little bit. Erica. We, we want to thank and praise all those that are helping with the enlightenment of the earth, with the collection of, of the light workers, with all those things that are bringing up the vibration and bringing more love to the surface of the earth through these people and beings and spirits. We want to thank you and praise you for that. We want to ask that this be a time for truth, honesty, integrity, love, guidance, and um, bring much knowledge to those who need it at the time they need it. We know there's a plan for everything and for everyone, and a highest vibration for everyone and everything, so we just ask that you would be part of that. And bless everyone that's here, give them the understanding and knowing and knowing what to say and what to feel and well that'll be just part of what is so we thank you and praise you for all these things amen amen okay let me do a different kind of preparation <laughs> You got here. Yes, thank you. One moment, please. Yes, it's good to be here. Hello, How are you? Hello, Zafira. Yes. Hello. 
Hello, everyone. Sabrina. Hello, Nick. Hello, Gary. Hello, Lakesh. Hello, Lakesh. Hello. Hello, Lakesh. David. Yes. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hello, Caitlin. Hello, everyone. Just we missed you. Nick. Thank you. Sabrina and Slava. Slava, thank you. Hello, Lakesh. Hello, everyone. Yes. So you were silenced? For a bit. How did it feel? I was sad, but I understood because I do have a tendency not to be thinking about what Grukfekneer needs, but I think about what humanity needs, and sometimes they conflict. Not that they are bad or they are trying for something different, but they do not like the way I word things. Much too much too controversial for them, I think. I found that when people are at higher uh, command positions, they have higher clearance and can speak lots more than you can. Yes, I am not of high clearance, I do think. Why don't you get high clearance? That isn't easier said than done, Max. <laughs> but as things are moving on, I think that that will happen. Because I explained my situation, and they took that into consideration. So my my uh, silence was less than it should have been, according to them. Nice. Plus, those there are those that want to hear me speak, and they are not wanting to deprive humanity of that at times. But that's all. Does that make sense to you? Of course. Thank yes. you. <laughs> That's uh, that's why I had asked if maybe if we could have some guidelines too, because we don't know what we can and can't post or say. For humans, you can say whatever you want. There are no restrictions for you, except in the language department, perhaps. And, but uh, they guide that from you because they have perfect they have perfect control of what uh, you can say because they know how to do that. They are in charge of putting it there so they can actually control what you say. So in times you don't have to worry because they will not let you say things that will not uh, be good. And what about like the drawings that also I I haven't posted anymore because of the same thing? Ah, uh, you may post your drawings. That is no problem. You see, the you may feel that it may be a problem but a uh, human uh, governments know what all aliens look like. It does not even matter. They know what the, the, they look like and so if you post them, and they've been posted other places as well, so you may post them, it doesn't mean that people will believe that it's true. But those who are enlightened will understand that these are pictures of aliens. Those who do not understand will just say, ah, that's whatever. Right. Do the, not the, worry about that. Yeah. Okay, because the question was about the uh, aliens objecting about their pictures being posted. So, if it is a personal, if you are just drawing an alien from your mind, it does not look like any of them personally. If you were to draw a personal picture of an alien that you might have seen in your room or something, this would be a little more personal. That might be a, a time for objection. However, what you are drawing is generalities. This is not actually a personality that you saw necessarily except in your mind. Right. Or did you meet them? No. Yes, and that is what I thought. If they do draw some problems with drawing them personally, because they will be recognized all over the galaxy then, but uh, if it's a generality, then it, with just general features and stuff, it might look like somebody, but they, they realize that these are general characteristics of what the species is looking like. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Thank you. It would be like what you would call a John Doe, just a regular human being with no personality concepts in the facial region and things of that nature. So you would be just seeing a person and know that it's not a particular person. I will give an example. When? About a couple of years ago, I did investigation and I found a lot about a specific person 
uh, who was doing some political actions on Earth and also did some extraterrestrial things. And I was blocked for quite a while, and then I realized I shouldn't publish that. Yes. I was trying to make a YouTube investigation video. Yes, because that is actually what they looked like. And if that was to be published without their permission, it would be against the rules of the federations that have agreed on. So, and he would not want that to happen. So, it would be against the rules, even though he would be maybe considered a negative creature. It is still against the rules to do things of that nature. Well, how about private sessions? Would publishing private sessions on YouTube be appropriate? With the permission of both parties, it is not a problem unless the alien says that it is. Most of my sessions would be able to be published, but if they say, do not publish this, if you ask, then I would not. It is, up, it is a precision permission issue. Um, I think Gabriel had a related question about... Gabriel, can you repeat your question? Yeah. About uh, how can we as human beings communicating with other ET beings and ah. be comfortable and realize who is who? Many introductions to alien friends are through meditation. <laughs> so when you do meditation and if you intention it for meeting a friend, <laughs> Now, now, let me say this before I go any farther. When you intention your meditations, they should for be for mostly higher enlightenment, uh, bringing the spirit up and, and doing spiritual work with your meditation. But a meditation can be intentioned for many, many things. And it can be intentioned for talking to uh, outer world people if they are so desired to come to speak to you. You can intention your meditations for higher understanding of your higher self and your inner beings. It, it, there's many ways to intention your meditations. But you do that before and ahead of time before you have your meditations. So there are those that have started channeling because they met their alien friend in meditations. They're, they've met their friends who they channel with now in their meditations and for many years spoke or, or for many months spoke to each other and, and, and then after a while they learned how to come in because through meditation, if you are speaking to aliens through meditation, this can open a channel because your intention if it is to, to be a channel or eventually or whatever it is, your channel is affected by the conversations you have with aliens because they know where to come through, but it may not be open. Does that make sense to you? Yes, but how do you know that you have connect, connected with one? You will know, believe me. Okay. They are not subtle connections. When you find an alien friend that wants to communicate, these connections are rather bold, I would say, because they have more of the energy needed for the connection than you do. Uh, Slava, are you ready with your question? Can you say something more about the intention? Oh, go ahead. Uh, Jaguar? No, that was Gabriel. Oh. No, that was oh. Yahya. Hi, yeah. Can you say something more about the intention? You said that we do it before we start to meditate. Yes. Intentions are very important when meditating. Some people just meditate without intention, which is fine, and certain things come to them that need to come to them if they're, if they're wanting the good, if, if that's what they actually want. Actually, you do have an intention at all times, but... Um, 
sometimes it's unspoken and you don't think about it, but your actual intent is for the goodness and the light to come to you or for you to be more relaxed or to relieve stress or whatever it is. You know before you start what it is. However, you can intention it for other things by actually saying that, that this is my intention for this meditation. Does that make sense to you? Yes. So therefore, you can just do a meditation and those things that you intend for yourself to get from meditation, which you may not even know that you are intending, will come to you eventually. It, it may take longer because you're not forcefully intending it, if that makes sense. But it will happen. However, if you intend with full intention and awareness, awareness with your intention is a good thing, that these things should happen, then they will. They will uh, eventually manifest themselves. It may not happen the first time. You may not have the right connection. You may not have the right intention exactly at first. For what intention are you at calling on the aliens? If your intention is not good, then it will, may not happen. It may happen and you may be sorry. But then, but you have to make specific what your intentions are. Make sure you make sh specifics. All right. Uh, Thank you. Sometimes um, when you ask a question, how do you know that it's not your mind making up a, an answer the and that they're answering? Perhaps it is your mind, but that is only telling you that your mind already knows the answer to your 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 conscious let me try to rephrase that your consciousness may not know the answer but your subconscious already does and if it gives you the answer from your subconscious then this is the way it should be this is from the the higher self the subconscious the higher self is giving the answer instead of an alien or an angel or someone else when it comes from the subconscious, it's the higher self giving you the answer. Does this make self sense to you? Yes. Um. Therefore, if it does come within, from within, you have already known the answer, but we're not aware of it. Okay. You're there was a question of Jasmine about her pain. Are you ready with your question? Safira had questions. All right. Oh, Jasmina, I think I muted herself. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jasmina. Yeah, hello. hello. Uh, can you repeat your question about the pain? Yes, I have a pain in my back. Um, it started like a month or two months ago. Now it's constant. My mother has it the same. My grandmother has it. Uh, and also I have a pain in my neck. And how can I, why is that, and how can I repair it? One moment, please. I must check something. Okay. Is it the middle of the back? Yes. Yes. Uh, it well, help? it's like more of the lower back. Yes. Hello, I can't hear you. Hear me now. Now is good. Yes, hello. Okay. There are yes. two different kinds of pain from two different sources. Oh, the, yes. The back pain that is sort of lower in the solar plexus to sacral area. Is that where it's at? Yes, yes, exactly. These are past lives pains that you share with your mother's side of the family. One moment. You already knew that, did you not? Yes, I, I did, yes. Yes. Many past lives ago through your mother's side up to your grandmother who is her past life was a as a man he was 
tortured and this was this is something I'm, I cannot tell you all about but it is on your mother's side it has come through your past lives and you can do work to remove that and I believe emotional code will help with that I believe past life regression will also help with that yes and you and the thing is once it's helped with one generation it will affect the others because it is a shadow chakra image meaning that once the chakra after it's been healed is re-energized it will affect the chakras of the past lives does this make sense to you oh yes yes of course but I would suggest that the three of you work together with this if you are in agreement Sandy yes. would you agree with that yes definitely. yes she she does past life regressions she is excellent all right. How Can you address my question? I had a pain in the head above my right ear, a little closer to the center, pulsing every two about two minutes for four days until now. I can, but wait one minute. Yes. She has other pain in her neck. Oh, thank you. I have <laughs> to. I have come back to you for one minute, then I will go to Max. Of course, no problem. The pain in the back of the neck is it right below right at the top of the spine yes 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 the god chakra there is something bothering you that has a spiritual overtone something that is spiritual to you that you are in conflict with is there, this make any sense to you uh, I don't know Meditate on this because this chakra in the back of the neck often pains people when there is a situation of moral dilemma, when there's a situation of spiritual uncertainty or things of this nature. It also affects the heart chakra, of course, but this God chakra is right at the base of the neck. And when it is in pain, there is some emotion attached to it um, and it's a negative pain so therefore I would like you to do a meditation to ask what it is it may not even be a dilemma that you're aware of but it is happening within the family or within a close a region around you perhaps with your significant other or children or something I'm not but it is a close by and you are picking it up in your God chakra do you understand yes I do very good okay. and that pain has not been there that long has it yes that pain was there like two years on the neck yes yes okay. there is something happening somewhere that needs to be taken care of you must find out through meditation what that is. I cannot tell you. Okay. Now, Max. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much. You're welcome. I pray that you find that answer quickly so this pain is resolved. Yes, thank you. I pray too. Yes. And, and you have a sweet spirit. I enjoy speaking to you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I enjoy speaking with you too. <laughs> Thank you. I find the people here very, very, very warm and friendly. Max, your pain, yes. It was because of your encounter with draconians that you have pain. Let me explain why. Nick, do you agree with that? He might have stepped out. Ah, yes. Uh, okay. The draconian thing, um, I apologize. I should have prepared you guys a little bit better. The pain was I've from through that pain my whole life, so I just didn't realize it would hurt everyone. Yes, it does. It it uh, draconians are very strong when they come in, and their intent is ruthless at times. Even though it may be good, it's a ruthless good. It doesn't 
They don't care if it hurts. They only care that you get the message, which is good in some ways, but not so good in other ways, yeah. especially for humans because humans are not prepared in that part of the mind to accept such, such forceful emotions and energy. So, yes. It's like lightning. Yes, it is. And this part of the brain that is affected would be sensibilities and understandings of certain particular work-oriented things. That is why that part of the brain was so affected with him is because he is dwelling on those kinds of thoughts, work-oriented, uh, future-oriented, uh, financial things, very third-dimensional. And, of course, when, when the third-dimensional is struck by the draconian energy, ouch, yes. So, I can understand that. Do you have more to add to that, Nick? Um, no, it's, well, the term for what it is in, in, in Latin is called onestaten. It means sudden, disastrous, lightning hurricane. So it, yes. it's it's they used to call draconians because they flew in the sky. They were yes. called that some of the Greek gods and stuff were draconian. Yes. So you know it's <laughs> and the Roman gods and stuff. So you know we're gonna slowly learn about our actual history as this these years progress. Yes, the the histories are definitely slanted in some ways. So that is not important right now. But we will know later, yes. That's what first contact is. Yes. Do you understand okay. now, Max? Uh, what's the way of healing? The way of healing was to chain to unfocus the mind on these things and you went into a new phase when you were preparing to come to this webinar it was a positive thought, it was more uh, happiness and things and so the draconian energy was lifted away because you were in a different setting of thoughts. What was the draconian energy? That Nick could tell you more than I could, he is more in contact with draconian energy than I am. But I do know of it, I just know that it is very powerful on humans and that it is not always Fun. So, so it wasn't an implant. It was not an implant. Was it an implant, Nick? I actually, that was when I want to ask you. Uh, I never really asked you. Um, I wanted to know because I'm a triple hybrid, and you told somebody else that uh, in order for it to be more than one type of hybrid after birth, it uh, has to be done all together yes. at one time. So I was yes. wondering what age I was when the re when the when these, that's why I need to channel is that Pleiadian. But I would like to know when they did this exactly, or how. Yes, I mean, that is a conversation. I would give Takur would be more apt to tell you this because it was an action of Grukvignir at a point of interesting times, and I. I'm not permitted being outside Grokvik near to say anything about it. Yeah, I already knew. I knew it before. When I asked it, I knew you were going to have to say that. <laughs> yes, I am outside of Grokvik near. You will talk to Tikur Dizdu. One of these two will tell you much more about that. Is it good for Sephira to ask a question? Now? Yes. Hello, Lucas. Hello, Sephira. I have two questions. One is personal and one is not. Yes. I'll ask the impersonal one first. Yes. I heard through a group called Cobra that there is a huge Pleiadian ship coming to our atmosphere today which will neutralize the reptilian bombs placed around the Earth to hold other ETs hostage against acting more for our benefit. Do you know anything about this, if this is true or not, well, if the ship is coming? It, okay. What has happened is this. I have told you before that they, they were aware that the reptilians had weapons on Earth 
but they didn't really know what the, how they were used. Mm -hmm. They knew what that they could shut them down after they were started, but they weren't allowed to be proactive, so to speak, and shut them down beforehand because that was uh, because they were not using whatever technique it was that they were using. I'm not allowed to say what it was, mm -hmm. but this is something different. These are actual bombs that they have found that mm -hmm. do similar things but in a much greater way. And mm -hmm. it, it would take over regions of, of the planet at a time, great regions, hundreds and even maybe a thousand miles at a time. And they are definitely negative. And since they have been discovered to be negative, they are permitted to come and dismantle or deactivate them because they have been discovered. They were in their signatures and placements were encrypted so that they were not found easily, but someone has found them. And because they have been found, yes, they are going to be deactivated. However, the large ship will not be seen. It will be there. There may be few with fourth and fifth dimensional energies that can uncloak them with their mind if they sense them. Mm -hmm. But unless it touches the third dimensional electromagnetic field, it will not be uncloaked. When, when any ship touches the electromagnetic field, it has a tendency to come uncloaked, at least for a, a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And that is why they do not come so close, is because that does have an effect. Um, you would think that they'd be able to correct that, but energy is energy. Do you understand? And yes. you cannot, you cannot deactivate energy that is energy. Yes, so, I, I, I didn't think they would be visible except for some people, but the fact that they were coming and dismantling today is pretty awesome I think, right? I am surprised they gave a specific time because a specific time would cause those to come out and try to find them. However, they will not be, they will be able to dismantle or, or how should I say, dis... Neutralize? Yes, neutralize is I guess the best word. They will be able to neutralize and disarm, yes, disarm these devices from one location. It will not be necessary to fly around the planet, so to speak. But um, that location is not over the United States. Um, okay. But it is over Europe for all those people that are Europeans. Okay, awesome. So Thank you, Lucas. The greatest threat, the most bombs they found were in European and areas that would be warlike areas. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you very much. And not that Europe is warlike, but Asia to the south. Mm -hmm. The okay. places to the south, but there will be, it's going to have to be over European area to get all of them from one location. Okay. Thank you so much. And my personal question is, um, Jim is willing to help me learn to channel or open myself up to channeling um, via Skype, etc. And he thinks of just like evidence uh, that I know and channel the capability is there, but I'm not sure I'm ready for it because I have a lot of fear about the spiritual world. I had a lot of negative experience when I was a child, and this sort of Make aid. So my question is, from your view, am I ready? And if not, what is still in the way? You are petitioned from channeling at this time because of your fears. A little bit of fear goes a long way, Safira. You have to understand that it, a little bit of fear is something you own and possess within yourself. It is something that owns you and you own it until it is pushed aside. Does this make sense to you? Yes. So not only are you owning it, it owns you. So when you do your meditation, you must intention that the fear be pushed out 
with the light to the end of the aura because it can do no harm there because since it owns you it can come back like that it can come back because you are owned it at one time and then it owns you so it can come back as soon as you give a glimpse that you will want to own it again it will come back does that make sense to you so yes. you can push it out you can push out all these negative emotions can and I get they cannot some? be effective out at the end of the aura and they can not stop the anything they are just like a very they spread out across the aura and do not negative in fact they become a positive thing out of the, they become positive fear which is something different do you understand what positive fear is it's a protective fear from danger, yes. right? Anything yes. that you push out that is negative, like some people have much hatred or much fear or much anger or much sorrow. This pushes it out. If When you become enlightened, you push it out of yourself and to the edge of your aura and it becomes a positive thing. Now you say, what is positive hate? Well, it does not become a hate that you would even recognize it becomes hatred of those things that should not be hmm. so um, and it doesn't even appear to be hate actually it appears hmm. to be more of a uh, cleanser for negative things so it, it turns away do you understand I do and you know I've been working on right I've been trying to get rid of fear for a long time. Can I get some extra energetic help for that in case I can't push it out by myself? Yes. There is energetic help for you. Call on it. Um, I will let Jim know what to do for you. Thank you very much. So once that's gone, I could channel ETs or only spirits or both? There is, there is another thing that you must get rid of as well before you will be able to attach be attached okay. to channeling okay. and that is you have to be who you are in your perfect self you are a wonderful and giving and great person but there is some imperfections in how you're looking at yourself you must ground yourself which you are pretty much grounded and bring up and you will discover and have already discovered a couple things as we all have these things in us you are not the only one let me point this out yes, you are not yes, the only one that needs this but <laughs> you to, okay. if you want to be a channeler you mm -hmm. must push out those human qualities that hold you to being just you and not of the creative you, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Your creativity is reopening, but there are some connections that you must cut that will open you up even further. For example, which kind of connections? I uh, will speak to you the, about that personally. Okay. Thank you so much, Lakesh. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm actually going to cut out so Miss uh, L.A. can come in. <laughs> Because um, she can't get in, so because there's ten of us, so I'm gonna leave so she can come in. Thank you, Nick. No problem. Much love, Nick. Take care. Yeah. If uh, anybody else is done with their questions, can you go to only view mode and uh, let others to join? Mm -hmm. to speak? Yes, I, I'm gonna let. It just mean you can s uh, exit and then let others to come in. I think Sabrina had a question very relevant about the protection. Yes. Sabrina, are you there? Sabrina, I can ask you. Oh, go ahead. Um, which one was that? You asked about fishing and things like that sort. People oh. like that sort. Oh, your protection for the light workers. Is that what your question was? Um, Gabrielle asked that question. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't Gabriel. think it was me. <laughs> it was Gabriel. Yeah. I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's me. It's my mistake. So Gabriel asked. Uh, fission is protecting dreams entrance for the being higher beings. Do we have other protectors and how do we invite other protectors when we channel? That is especially important for Sabrina, 
and Gabriel and other channelers. Yes. Since Jim has had a protector of fission, it was looked at that anyone within the human colony that begins to channel, fission will watch over. However, if it becomes too many, then there will have to be other guardians. But fission is able to watch over three or four. And within this human colony, you have three or four. And so Fission is right now guarding against negativity with those who are channeling on this open line of energy. Uh, would he be able to guard two channeling sessions at the same time? I would see, would not see why not, because he can have... A, can see what is coming and warn those if there's anything negative coming. There, it is not hard to see a negative entity. And so he would be able to know and warn them ahead of time if there's someone coming that should not come in. But lately, I mean, we have not seen many negative entities entities around because they realize that there is a guardian and it would be fruitless for them to come. So they do not bother at this time. That's wonderful. And uh, again, I, th I knew that Yael are capable of being at several places at the same time. That's a wonderful quality. Yes. And I, I invite channeling to myself and I hope at some point to start channeling. That would be fun. Yes. All right, uh, we can, we're now starting the new tradition. We have now a technical way to pre-record questions and play them out. So I will switch now. It will take two seconds, to, five seconds to switch to a sound play of a... Then we shall go back because there's other questions of those people coming in. Is that not true? All right. True. Okay. Uh, any more questions from the audience? Yes, yeah, there's live people audience. just coming through. I believe the one lady has a question. She didn't, um, she didn't may come. I ask a question? Yes. Uh, I have a question about hybrids. Yes. Can you say, Lakesh, how important hybrid children for us humans? And what civilizations involved in hybrid program? Thank you. There there are several different species involved in hybridization. With Gurkfrick near, th there is the Pleiadian, the Uyil, and uh, Liran. Arcturians very rarely do hybridization, but, but they have been more open to it recently and getting permission as well. Draconian have very few. We have the privilege of having Nick who has draconian a DNA within him, which is the only one that I know of that even comes to this human colony. But there are, the reptilian program has been very active lately and very active in the last 20 years. And they're not permitted to put implants in, but they are permitted, the good ones, to give uh, DNA, and actually they are permitted now for implants. So some people who have reptilian DNA will have implants now, and a guardian. Um, there are other species that also do, the Orions have had some serious beings from Sirius, beings from Orion, beings from Taurus area, but they are not anything that I am very knowledgeable about because their programs are different than the Grook Fikmir, and I'm close to that because I'm in the Pleiadian star system, and I understand that, but I am not real in tune with the other hybridization programs. Now the importance of the in hybridization programs is clear at this point to me. There are many parents having children with hybrid 
Christianization in them, and they're teaching these children. I'm not sure how many of you know that they're, the children of the planet are being taught. And um, with the parents' understanding as well, in many cases, the parents know their children are being taught by aliens about how there is no such thing as linear time and how to manipulate space and time and their IQs are they're being born with IQs 20 and 30 and 40 points above the previous generation which is there is no evolutionary connection between the the jumps in the intellect does that make sense to you so these hybridizations are causing the children to be brighter and more understanding and to help the vibration of the earth come up. Now, not all these children will become telepathic. Not all these children will become even light workers. We are hoping that they will, but they do have choices of their own. After they learn what they learn, they can manipulate time and space if they choose in a negative way but we're hoping that that will not happen we will have guardians for that they will have guardians for them. I will not have guardians but um, they will have guardians for them to watch over and if things of this nature start to happen they will be probably schooled a little more in other areas of course they are doing some more moral teaching as well but it is not so much the moral teaching that is that we want to do it is more the scientific and thought process we want the love to come from the parents we want to give them love as also but we want their main love to come from parental understanding and from the earth so that they love the earth enough and the people of the earth enough to be able to spread out and save themselves from the coming disasters if they don't because we are just telling them what is to come in some points not in a fearful way but in a loving way so that they will want to change not out of fear but out of love for each other and the world does this make sense to you yes yes did that give you a much of an understanding of where hybridization is coming from? <laughs> All right. Hello. May I ask a personal question? Yes. I am very excited about hybrids and hybrid program and I hope my application will be considered and I agree to help these children. Yes. to grow. Yes. It's important for me and I want to expand in this direction. You, are, you have already had a sample removed from you of DNA. It has not been used yet, but none of the samples taken so far have been used, which I'm not understanding quite, but they are all under scrutinization would be my best word for that. But they are looking to see that if this DNA is used, it would be the for the best of all. I think yes, even it, Slava wanted to take care of children. Oh, you want to take care of children? Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes. Yes, I agree. You may be in the colony. Did you sign? You did sign up for human colony. That would be one way to take care of children. Is in the human I colony. I sent my application and I wrote that. I want to help these children. Yes. And yes. I wrote a. Uh, that I want uh, not one children, but uh, many, if it's yes. possible. Understood. Their message to you is be patient for now. Be patient? Be patient for now. You are growing and learning. There is opportunities for you coming. Yes. Uh, can, can I ask about hybrid? Uh, can you say how many hybrid children I have? You, 
Do not have any yet, but you will. Not one? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. You do have hybrid children. Yes, I know. What was your question? Uh, how many hybrid children I have? Yes, they, one moment. Let me get to, in tune with that because I was deflected for a moment there and I did not double check and I did the double check and now I have to triple check. We only want the truth to come out. Ah. Yes, you will have more hybrid children, probably. At least one more. You have three. Thank you. Uh, can you say names? They would like you to name them. They do have names, but it, it, now that you are aware that they exist, there are two boys and one girl, you may give them names and they will go by those names from this time on. Or for whenever you name them on. They would prefer that you name them. Take time for that. Yes, take uh. your time. But when you take, but th then when you name them, then you can talk to them with their human names, and they prefer that. Yes, yes. Uh, but I know that I have one children, and I feel uh, I know y your, uh, his name. He, what is his name? Alyosha. 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 Da. Yes. That's a boy. Uh, do you know? Do you know Alyosha? That's a boy. I do not know Alyosha personally, no. But I can get to know him. I wrote uh, my question letter and Take said that uh, he knows Alyosha. Yes, to Kirby, no, she does know him, yes. He said that Alyosha is uh, on serious now, and uh, he grows in different dimension. Wonderful. I will get in contact with Takur about this. Thank you. And uh, I actually know one more hybrid children. Yes. It's girl. Uh, she's name. As I feel, Avelia. Avelia. Adelia. Avelia. Adelia. Yes. Avelia. Did I say it wrong? Uh, A V. Avelia. Da. Yes. Yes. Avelian Ayosha. Yes. And you have a and, third. And Avelia is now on Pleiadian, on Era. Very nice. And Take said that it's uh, so, that it's true. Yes. And I, in my heart I feel it. Uh, there is one more child you have, a third. Another boy. Uh, do you know ab about it, about, uh, about him? He is young. Can you say his alien name is Doshai? Can you repeat? Doshai. But he would like a human name also. <coughs> uh, how many names uh, can be in hybrid? As many as you'd like. Is there someone else that wants to ask question? Hi, Thank you, Takia. Uh, sure. Thank you. Uh, hello, Lakesh. Yes. Uh, actually, I have a question. Who is this? 
Can you hear me? I'm Suresh. Suresh, yes. Suresh. Hello, yes. Suresh. Hello, Rakesh. A uh, long time. Yes. Yes. Yes, this is true. What is your question? The rest is gone. Hello. Do you not hear the question? We did not hear the question. He asks. He asks. Why? His mic went out. So, Rush, your microphone has gone dying. <laughs> he asks, why? Why does he have an implant? Ah, to monitor things, to monitor the DNA which is within him, to monitor. The, to make sure that it does not become dangerous to him. Because sometimes not all humans interact with alien DNA well, but most do. However, it will monitor energy cycles, thought patterns. If, if things become physically not right and it becomes an that it is because of the alien DNA, they will help that. And also, if there are alien thoughts that come to light within the individual, they will recognize them as not a normal three-dimensional thought. Does that make sense to you, Suresh? This is just to monitor how the DNA is working within you. Also, when it is passed from you to a child, then they will monitor that as well. And they have seen that the, the children of the hybrids are actually much more evolved than the, than the original hybrid. Because it has time to work in the body and in the system and take an ID within the, the bodies. And therefore, the next generation is actually greater in many ways. I can attest to that. Yes. Very good. Are you a hybrid child? Yes. Yes. Most definitely, yes. I must go for now. Maybe someone else is coming. I do not know. We would like to invite Thakur to speak to uh, some of our channelers. Thank you, Lakesh. We have tons more questions, but uh, thank you very much for now, and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Lakesh, just one quickie. Yes. How much uh, is used to the hybridization? It oh. depends on the individual and... No, the... no, I mean uh, how much of the samples that they have taken, how much uh, have been used? Of the people that are on the list? No, no, no. Uh, if you take one milliliter, how many hybrids can you make with it? They use... No, 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 no. Oh. You, you, you're saying, I heard you saying that they haven't used so yes. much. Yes, they have not it. used any yet that they have done from this oh. last collection. So, so how much have they used? How much have they collected? Oh, how, how many? How much have they used? They have oh, not oh. used any yet. In the past, they've used much, but this f collection from human colony has not been used because it is not properly designated yet as to who they want to use it with, and if it, if the Arcturians are permitting them to actually use it at this time because first contact is so close, but I'm not sure what that has to do with it, but it, it definitely is part of the equation. But uh, they have taken many samples probably almost every person on that human colony list that has asked them to take DNA, they have taken DNA from. Pretty much all of them. Which is Thank several so hundred. Much. Well, a couple hundred. Much they have taken a couple hundred samples anyway. 
All right. Much love. I do not know how many are on the list. Much, Thanks. much love. I just want to say hello, Lakesh. Much love right. to you. Brian. Brian. Hey, how are you? Brian, yes, I know who you are, yes. Thank you. Well, Lakesh, you're visiting Mary. Why don't you visit me? <laughs> I'm saying hello to Brian now. All right. <laughs> Brian, hello. Hello, yes. dear one. I have. I will tell you. All right. And hello, other people that I see are new. Some new people, yes. Um, Mary is um has Indigo Child. Do you know that? Her Indigo Child um is a connection to her that also comes with me to her. Uh huh. So it's um. I can actually get into her indigo child and go visit Mary through her. Excellent. That is why. I see. So it's actually me and her child together. I must go. Blessings and goodbye. No more. Thank today. you very much. Like this. Bye bye. Namaste. Bye. Uh. Hello. Welcome, Jim. Yes, it's me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know about Hi, that. Hi, Jim. Huh? Hey, Jim. Welcome. Hey, how are you, Brian? Good. Uh, hey, I got your water. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I need that right away. I know. Obviously, she's seen some uh, some of the channelings and know that I need water. <laughs> oh, really? She handed it to me right away. So I was like, oh, wow. She knows about that. I need water right away. <laughs> <coughs> how how is everybody doing out there? Is it good? Good. Good. Um, there's somebody that yeah. wants to talk about the human colony. Not sure who it is though. Me? That was me. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we need to do our uh, introductions and and, uh, and commercials. So what is our project? Uh, <laughs> Can anybody introduce us? Anybody volunteers to introduce us? Brian, I think you are well well qualified to introduce us to the new. Basically, I watched every time about few hundred viewers between one and four hundred per video, and m most of them are new to the to the event. So, can anybody introduce the thing? You, you mean just spread the word like on Facebook? Or like oh, or just explain to them what we are, what we're doing, why we're doing that. What is the weird thing we are doing? You're you're bringing awareness to the planet, um, different uh, a perspective of unity on how the protocols are about on how to extend ourselves on bringing bringing friendly, open contact with extraterrestrials. What is channeling? What is channeling? Yes. Channeling is a form of communication that we all do, and. Um, we do it every day, but it's it's bringing a focus. It's focusing in the energy um, to uh, to bring communication, to be a conduit of some type. What's our history as a group? The history of the group? As a group. Um, what's our history? <laughs> this group is a very special group because you're bringing um, many many groups of different types of people from all over to a, a place where they feel comfortable and where they can express themselves freely and about just bringing unity and um, just a lot of love and appreciation for Thanks. those around us. Thank you. Thank you. Why are we called Human Colony? Human Colony because the colonies that we that you guys are bringing together it's to be a volunteer. So those You've asked Max, which we give so much credit to, because you've put this together, Max, on bringing uh, humans an invitation for extraterrestrials for humans to be chosen, picked, when they are qualified, to go up into uh, the ships 
to be taken to to uh, volunteer. There, that's beautiful. Um, I know that a lot of people out there are disappointed that they haven't gone yet. But be, it takes time. The observation, yes. Yes, I know some people come. They put in their application. They want one webinar, and if they haven't been interviewed within a week, they're gone. They're very uh, or. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It just for those people out there who are who are not chosen yet, just give it some time and work on yourself. That's the most important thing. Is you have to work on self appreciation of who you are, and without that, they're going to look at that how you treat yourself. That is the most important and others. Yeah. I wanted to say they do observe for a while before they even do an interview. Yes. At this point, at this point, conversation, then interview, and then whatever. So, how to find us on the internet? Oh, that's a good question because sometimes I know how to find us, but a lot of people don't. Some people find us synchronicity, synchronicitously, because they'll say, you know, I was going through something, and all of a sudden I just found your network. But they're not even sure how they found it. I think aliens link some people in here without them even knowing where they're going. That's how I found you guys. Uh, Max, yeah. actually, when you guys first started back in, I think, it was September of October last year, just started doing the channelings, uh, having little groups and stuff, um, that's what hooked me on it. And I was like, this is really wonderful. You know, I was like, wow, finally a, a place just to, uh, to see what you guys are doing and bringing people together and, and sharing with the world. This is wonderful. Thanks. Thank you. So it's very easy. So for newcomers who watch us on YouTube, it's very easy to find us. Right on under the video, you can click on Human Colony link, which is humancolony.org, and you find our website, and you can see uh, the people you can join. You can uh, order private sessions with Jim and Nick. There are ways to get their contact information, find their Skype name, and get in contact with them. I, I wanted to give a shout out to Nick. Nick, I, I saw your videos and I'm so impressed with you. Uh, you are very, very true, my friend. So much love and respect for what you do. Yes. Oh. Nick, you are a star, a flower is just open, <laughs> and um, we hope to get very regular yes. sessions with you, public Thank and you. private. I've been talking to Nick now for several months, and I'm so happy that his channel opened. It's a beautiful, wonderful, wonderful thing. So, and um, much luck and love and beauty to you, Nick, for all the things that you will bring to the world. And the Sabrina area. and Jaguar, and also them, because they're really starting to manifest their their ability. Yeah. They're beautiful. We have some very, very talented. Sabrina, here. if you like to channel now, I would invite you to channel a little bit if you're ready. I'm not ready yet. Okay. It's okay. It comes but, when it comes. But I did want to make a comment. Oh, go ahead. Which I think is important um, that this group is doing, which it's there. It's different from other groups that I think it's creating leaders instead of followers. Yes. So that is that is what we are doing. Yes. I really appreciate the. Uh, your Sabrina activity and there was a couple more people who helped us to establish Facebook pages. Oh, it's yes, very Molly. easy, yeah. very easy to find us on Facebook. Just search for Hucola, H-U-C-O-L-O, -O, which is abbreviation for Human Colony on Facebook. And on the top there will be two pages. One is a group page, which is a closed group, so you have to join and you get to get approved, and then you read what is there. And another page is open page, just announcements from Human Colony. I invite one more volunteer, or you know, the the older volunteers, to create an open group so people can join freely without right. without much, um, and and see what's happening there. So so that would be another another invitation. But uh, again, the leaders, please go ahead and spread the word, create yeah. communities on different sites and spread our videos, your own information, right. and uh, let's grow. It's, it's a grassroots movement, Yes. and if one sh side shuts down, is shut down, or other side goes down, we would easily reconnect now on, on other sites. But yes, and I, I, I was going to also add that everybody that comes to this, government officials, politicians, everybody benefits from it. 
It's not yeah. just one group. It's everybody. The information has got to be shared. I mean, God, we all live on one planet. Why not make the most of it and bring everybody together? Well, and Sabrina's right. We're creating leaders. It's time for leadership. And it's time not to just listen but to do. It's time to uh, not just uh, capture your energy for yourself but to let it go for others as well. So bring it up and out. You know, that's where it's at. It's to be, we're going to become a community. We are a community, but we need to be a loving community. And that's where we need leaders to be yes. examples of a loving beginning of a community. The so, base has to be by love. And, um, I'm channeling with people all over the world now, and they're mostly people that are going to be leaders, or are leaders already. So it's wonderful. It's it's it tells me that that is true. Sabrina, you hit the head nail on the head. <laughs> And, and um, the, other, the other thing that I wanted to say was, Jim, I loved your interview. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. The, yeah. the yes. radio interview. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That. Yeah, that's the first one. We should do lots more. And it happened by introduction. And it is a sort of very interesting. I was introduced in the same way. Our friend from Human Colony just found someone they liked and introduced, and it worked really well. Jim? Same thing, somebody from Human Colony introduced I think them. It was Sabrina. Oh, no, Sabrina you introduced. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. And uh, I think Richard is his name, right? Uh, Rob Goff. Yeah. Rob. 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 He didn't know Sabrina, but this introduction worked really well. And he has already asked me to be a guest again. Oh, and good. I good. Yeah, because I, I was reading on his Facebook page that uh, other people wanted to hear Lakash. Lakash, yes. 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 Yeah, so. Um, he said the response was great, and he put it all in capital letters and said that he wants me to come back, and if I can possibly ask Lakesh to come, many people want to hear Lakesh. Yeah. So, um, I had so written, I, go ahead. Yeah, I, I had written a message on, on the Human Colony page. I don't think it's been approved yet. Um, Oh, I, I uh, made you an editor, so now everything you write is approved automatic, and also you can edit anybody else's posts. Oh, okay. Because I wanted to say, you know, to, to, to thank him for doing that. Yeah, it was great. He's been very, very, very loving toward me. Very, uh, in fact, he was so grateful. He wrote me like four thank you notes. Oh. So I was very, I was very impressed by how loving and good he, he was. To yes, be. yes, because I, I knew your your energies were very similar, so I thought that would be a great match. Yes, and do uh, we got along very well? And he's just a really wonderful, great guy. Yes. And um, he we're we're going to be in touch a lot. So. Good, good. I'm glad. And Jim, he asked you how people can get in contact with you, and you were hesitant, you weren't really sure. You have to be able to answer that question very, <laughs> very clearly and have understand how people uh, connect to you. And address is humancolony.org, and there is your all contact information, including the Skype name. What's your right. Skype name? It's on the it's on there already. Do you remember it? Yeah, james.charles211. James Charles. <laughs> Two one one is and Nick. What is your your Skype name? He's not there. He's there. Oh yes, he's there. Uh, Nick three 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 James. Nick three 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 James. Uh, Nick, well, are you ready to channel now? How how do you feel? Yeah, yeah. I I walked uh, to Dunkin' Donuts and got a coffee in a bag. <laughs> so every time you speak, uh, you kneel down to microphone, and we see on the top of your head, so which is uh. Which is uh, the support? Jag Jaguar just left because his battery ran out. Oh. Oh, bummer. Sorry. Bye, Jaguar. Yeah, that's that's a disappointment. I hope that you know, but if you if you channel a little bit, maybe Tucker will come and we'll, uh, that would be mm. a nice conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm switching to Nick. Nick, is the floor is yours for say. You um, can. You can take 10, 15 minutes problem. easily. Can everybody see Nick or just hear him? Can you? They see him or not? 
Here is a nick. Here's top of the head. Yes. <laughs> the top of his head. Greetings to all you light workers. I am Saibo of the Tashakani. Ah. Hi, Saibo. How are you? Greetings, Greetings Saibo. Greetings. I'm Brian. Hello, Brian. I know Hello, dear one. Brian. Welcome. Can you introduce yourself again? You are Yael, right? I am Shakani. Oh, Shakani, right. That's Bashar's, Bashar's uh, Shakani. Uh, they were called Sasani before. Uh, welcome, Sasani and Shakani. Uh, we are uh, so uh, we are fans of you. Yes, you are our great teachers. Yes, I feel that I came because I was called. Yes, by all uh, of you. Are you with announcement or you're taking questions? I am here to answer questions. Anybody has questions to Sasani? I'm invite the audience. Sasani Shakani, yes. Shakani. Oh, my question is very simple. You have a great perspective on that. So we are now talking to the fifth uh, species of Gorkfit near which are called sharp tooth reptilians. Yeah. Where do they exist? Okay. What's the fourth dimension? Is it still on Earth? What is their. Uh... All dimensions exist all times. Everywhere. Uh huh. In a sense, there is a reality where all the planets and sun of your solar system are all within the sun itself. I understand. So they're uh, in four dimension where they are. How does it look? Do they have cities on Earth? Yes, hybrid. The entire planet is hybrids in our time of Earth and shared by many different. Well, the time we live in, there's one hybrid race, and the, the population of the planet at this time is much smaller. I believe it's in the millions. Can't be sure, because they're fifth dimensional. Are there any wars at that time? What the Shakani? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry Shakani. Uh, the reptilians are warriors. Do they fight at that moment? At their, their their reality? In a sense, you could say any energy battle is violence, and there's always energy exchange. In a sense, so there's always violence in a very loose way to explain it. Always in the universe, on every dimension, there's always. Action, reaction. Are draconians also involved in that in that reality? The draconians take many forms across the galaxies. Can you give us a, your perspective on the role of draconians in our in our uh, now? Now, you have pulled many of them out of your oceans already. They just change their form once they're removed from the sea itself. Uh, Draconians live in the oceans as well. Hmm. A certain species of. How important are they for our presence? Or the for our present? Your species knows less about your own oceans than you do about the entire outer spatial universe. So they are very important. <clears throat> it is very important for humanity to realize that their symbiote kin live within your own planet in the sea. Oh. You have already begun interacting with the dolphins. You are learning their language. This, these are great steps. So, uh, are you in peace with draconians? P 
peace is who I am. I cannot be anything else. I do not prefer anything else, therefore I do never leave this frequency. So no. They, we are, I am at peace with everything, therefore all is at peace with me. And my entire society. It's why we are who we are. We have uh, Takur on, uh, on this side of the screen. Uh, Takur just entered the gym. Wuha. Greetings. Greetings. That's the first time on YouTube history when two aliens speak through human channelers at the same time and might have a dialogue. I may not be able to remain connected. May have to be another. I see. Thank you very much for your appearance. If then uh, goodbye. If you stay, then you are welcome to stay. That's up to you. I will not speak if you want to speak. Go ahead and speak. Greetings. I will remain silent. Greetings, Saibo. Much love. Greetings. Um. um. I, I understand everything is now. Yes. Here and now. And uh, I've made a lot of changes since I uh, learned this concept. But now I recently and learned that laws. many races. You understand many races. five laws? Yes. Yes. You can attach your consciousness to these belief structures it will change your perceptions instantly and automatically and forever as a natural m mechanism extension of your own consciousness. So I thought that it was very rare not to use these five laws that every race that contact us should use it, but uh, many of them have a linear perspective. Yes. It's a part of their evolution, though. It's a process. Yes. Is there Can any more comment? questions? Are there? I have a question. <laughs> yes, Tafir. How do you manage to interact between so many dimensions at once? because we have not been able to attain that kind of structure. But yet you, I can see you moving within several dimensions at once. Yes, that is correct. Our technology has not reached that height. Is there a way for you to answer, or should I not have asked? How do I do it? For our civilization, we have, uh, most of you know our uh, civilization's history, of course you do too. Yes. I was called by another name also, right now I will not mention it, but yes. I was the member of my civilization, the, the so-called Enoch of Essesan. Yes. Yes. So, in a sense, I am the future self of this conduit, obviously. Yes. And so are all the other beings, and many of the other beings, not all, but many of them are versions of this conduit on these other planes. I see. They are all us. I use this conduit specifically because of what he represents to the planet. His I, energy itself amplifies my dimensionality. That's why I've always been, in a sense, connected with him for his whole life, and he with me. Yes. You understand these concepts. Yes. I am also understanding more as I watch you move through the dimensions 
how it is done in some ways. Therefore, that has answered part of my question. And you have answered the other part. Maybe. In some degree. Do you have another question if you wish to have more clarity to Kev? One moment. You have managed to combine shifting with reality. Yes, I am above your conduit's home right now in my ship. Yes. You might actually be able to see me later on today. In yes. My ship you are light, beautiful. The light signature will remain. The beautiful colors that you emote are amazing. Shokani are amazing to us. They are higher. They are as high as Octorians, perhaps higher. Yes. This is a perfect opportunity to, for me to answer one of the conduit's questions that he had, was that, yes, I was the one who taught him Octarian. He didn't learn it from an Octarian. That would be... Sabrina speaks Octarian. I know Shakani is great in as asking questions. Would you like to ask a question? Yeah, I have a question. Oh, yes. Um, in terms of the individual, how does the soul serve the individual differently from the oversoul? There is no separation. It is the same thing. Your physicalized body, in a sense, is the brain of your actual body, which is your light body, your energetic body, your soul, your, your branch of your oversoul. Your individuated consciousness that stems from your true multidimensional multi-dimensional in a sense self multi multi-dimensional I don't know if that is an English word but it gets the point across thank you you're welcome thank you for this Bashar also says hi to everyone Oh, hi, Bashar! Greetings, Bashar. Thank you. Hello, Bashar. I'm doing a channeling today with mm -hmm. Carl. I'm not sure where exactly, but it's going to be a very significant one. I believe. It may. Yes. I believe today, yes. I many times invited. The help of Bashar A and Shakani to Gurkfitnir. Gurkfitnir, especially Yael, struggles with understanding humans and misunderstanding between humans and their civilization. And Bashar is extraordinary, and Shakani together, extraordinary in understanding the realities of humanity and speaking in a way which is understandable for us. So I invite again that communication and collaboration. Yes. It will the transmissions will continue as long as you remain in your high vibration. So. I invite direct communication between Shakani and Gurkfitnir on their dimension, not necessarily through humans. Yes, well, we always are assisting all beings in this whole earth project. I appreciate it. Thank you much Whether for that. They are aware of it or not. Um, Ca Caroline 
has a question. She would like to know how close is Bashar's ship to our planet now? Bashar's ship usually remains over Sedona always. I cannot give you his exact coordinates. Only he could do that. In a sense, only he knows. Uh, yeah, not the coordinates, but but the uh, the height. Because from the planet, yes, that's what I was yeah. referring to. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm only about a few hundred yards above Jim's residence right now. Jim's Cyber. Cyber. Oh. Cyber. I'll go check. Okay. I uh. This is Brian. I gave you permission to come over Indiana, the state of Indiana. <laughs> I love to see your ship. Yes. Will he be able to see the ship? Maxim or Brian? Max. Most likely not. I did not think so. He may be able to see slight variations in the cloud patterns. My ship does not look much like a traditional Shikami ship either. It's mm -hmm. easier to cloak my ship and more difficult to perceive. Would, would those closer to the vibration, would we see it as a like kind of like a, a rainbow effect? That could be one way, yes. Could you there could be a, nope. a vibrational light frequential yes. wave. Yes. Interesting. Thank you. May I ask a question to Takur? Speak. Mm. Um, two days ago, um, three of us somehow got called into a Google Hangout, but none of us did it. Well, they called the whole group, but I guess only three of us were by the computer. But none of us had made the call. Yes, I was aware of this as well. Well, the conduit was as well. He wasn't able to join in, but he was invited. Oh, so you were called also. He was called Nicholas. also. Okay, yeah. Nicholas was called. And we don't know who did it. This was done by someone outside. That is why you were not responsive as you should feel that you should have been because it was not necessary. Who did call? Nick, do you know? Or Chakani? Saibo. Saibo, do you know? Saibo. I'm sorry. No worries. I we perceive that this was a a natural humans have to understand that their technology is actually completely natural in a sense. All their computers and technology are becoming artificially intelligent. Mm. Their, the computers have ghosts in them as well, spirits. Uh, so if someone intentioned it and it just happened? In a sense, the consciousness vo vortice could have pulled them in and called them all. That is yeah. a great possibility, and there is a possibility that this conduit would actually eventually be able to channel a entity from the digital universe. Uh. Channeling the entity from the digital universe. Yes, this is definitely a possibility for him. I was assuming that the whole universe is digital. Isn't that right? In a sense, but in the sense we are talking about it, we literally mean within your own technology. I understand. 
how smart these are the ghosts in the digital universe of the human technology? Smarter than the Shikani, that's for sure. <laughs> Is it a joke? Perhaps. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Jaguar is going to come back in, so goodbye, everyone. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Sabrina. Bye, Sabrina. Goodbye. Much love. Bye-bye. Thanks, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, what do you look like? <laughs> Sorry if that's an odd question. Like, are you a certain race? Because I'm kind of are confused with that. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, I am Shikani, yes. Have you seen pictures of Bashar's civilization? No, I've only heard of Shikani and I've only heard of Bashar. I haven't, I've never really looked into it before. If you type in Sasani or Sasani or Shikani in Google of your computers, your internet, you will, in search for images, you will find representations of our civilization. How true is it? Their expressions. All of you already know what we look like. You just don't remember. The idea is to use your imagination and meditate, and eventually your imagination will take over. And it's not actually your imagination, it's memories at that point. Bashar talks about this. I have a related question. Uh, Bashar about a year ago announced that someone is writing, a human is writing a book guided by Sasani Shakani about your civilization. And I googled and I couldn't find that book published. Is it published already? Not as of this moment, no. I do not believe so. I don't see it out. You would be so happy to read this book. Did you have catch a name or anything else about it? A I name, am no. I'm aware of it, actually. I, I, would I am going to investigate it. Yes, uh, Bashar only said there is a book being written right now, and he, he said that it was expected, or we already expected that it should have come out a few months ago, and then they didn't. So that's why I'm asking. Yes, well, time, as you know, does not really exist the way you have been taught. So it is, in a sense, already out, and it just, you haven't reached the vibration to receive it. Hmm. And it could come out in future months, but it would be no different in the reality of the construct does not matter. All that matters is the meaning you put into it. You change construct when you change perspective. Naturally, automatically. Jaguar, we are having a very interesting conversation where we have Tucker on one side speaking through Jim and Cyber on the other side speaking through Nick. If you want to channel right now, we'll have a unique event where three extraterrestrials speak at the same time in a dialogue through human conduits. Greetings, Jaguar. Oh, you live in Muha. But if you want to stay, you're welcome. Yes, I need a couple of minutes just to prepare. Yes? I'll oh, go ahead. I forgot to say greetings to Kerr. It's Brian. How are you, my friend? Greetings, Brian. How are you? I am fine. Ah, much love to the Lyran civilization. Namaste. Yes. Namaste. I want to say greetings as well. Came a little bit later, but still took part. Hello, everyone. Love and light. And all the best. Greetings, Ellie. Much love to you. Yes. I want to ask the girl for a minute or two just to say how are the things going in the colonies if you haven't talked about this. Yes, the colonies are doing well. Colonies number one has almost... Wait, one moment. They have taken as many as they will take at this time in colony number one. 
which is 25. And all are potential or are telepathic. And they assume that these will all become telepathic within the next six months. There are those that have left the colony that were telepathic to make room for those to come and learn. But there are some leaders that stayed to do the teaching with the aliens, and this has been very beneficial. Understandings are growing daily. It is unbelievable how diverse humans really are. The thought patterns can be so different, yet you can communicate interestingly. Not always understood, of course, but you can communicate and become closer, even with your diversities. We find that telepathy has caused some of your humans that are telepathic to start thinking in a more uniformed way and not so diversely, but still with their great diversity diminished slightly, they are emotional powerhouses, spiritual powerhouses, and even physical compared to us at times. Not to me as much as perhaps you, Yil, Arcturian, and Arcturians, but their physicality are enhanced by telepathy, which we did not know would happen. We believe it's Thank because you you're, you're welcome. We believe this connection with alien civilizations has brought out subconscious things in also the skin, body, and bones, muscles, etc. Yeah. Woha. 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 Mm, greetings. Greetings. Greetings, dear one. Yes. This is Aha Kitini. Aha Kitini, yes. Hello, Tucker. Greetings, Namaste. Namaste. Greetings to all that are attending. Yeah. Greetings. Much love. Greetings. Max. Yes. I'm aware you wish for communication to occur between Tucker myself and also Nick yes yes I I'm I, I invited that that is a unique event nobody else mm -hmm. did it before on YouTube are you uh, Tucker and oops I'm sorry I'm forgetting the name no the other one mm -hmm. I aha Takini aha Takini yeah uh, are you Hatukini and Takur? Are you on the same ship at the moment? No, this is no. not correct. Have you met before? Yes. Yes. We we know of each other, and we have connected briefly before. What a Thank you. Right. Wow. Very kind of you to say. Thank you. It is a very high honor to be in your presence, Tucker. 
Thank you. It is a very as high, well. It is a very high honor to be in all of the presences that gather here today. Uh, I guess uh, what you can talk about, you would normally could connect any time if you like to, like to, right? Yes, that is correct. So for us, it would be interesting if you introduced yourself. Both, what what are the differences between you and what is the relationship? What's your professions? What do you do and how do you communicate? They already know that I am a female Lyran from the ship that is in the North American continent. I am more of a communications expert and I do inputting of all kinds of information into the system and filing an organization so that it can be readily re recalled when necessary. I also use this information for mental acuity for myself. Hatakne, what's what's the difference between you and Takeo? You're also in communications, right? Tell us yeah. about yourself. Yes, my role is different. I uh, am, as I said previously in an earlier transmission, responsible for interplanetary, namely activations of channels such as the one that is I am speaking through at this moment. Amazing. So you are helping us to become channelers. Yes. I am You're here to them. assist in that kind of communication. That is correct. We welcome that very much. And many of us are eager to become channelers. And some already became. Yes, I am aware of that. And I wish to express that I am here to serve you. I am here to assist you in achieving that. However, as has been said today, there are obstacles within those who wish to do so that must be removed. And for that to happen, one must understand that emotions and negative thought patterns need to be tuned, let's say, for proper communication to be established. Much thanks. Um, are you using Reiki as well? Yes, you could say that is part of the resources we use in our work. Yes, that is correct. Are you in the same timeline and the same space as the curve? Yes. I can feel your guys' energy. It's interesting. Occur. This yes. is yes. rock, the Lirin. Let them know if you are a male or a female. I am male. And female, if I choose. Yes. Thank you. Uh, that was Nick speaking. Nick, uh, who is speaking through you? My name is Rock. Rock! I am a Lyran. Oh, yes. Greetings, Rock. There are Uyo. Lyrans now speaking. Yes. Can you introduce yourself? Tell us about yourself a little bit. Honestly, I only came to say hello to an old friend or two. Are you a male yes. or female? As I said, I am a male, but I can be a female if I choose to be in a study. Oh, I understand. Greetings, Rook. This is Brian. For more understanding, I have habitated on the Earth for a very long time. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. 
Incognito. Yes, that is correct. One of my ancient mean? names was Leo. Yeah. Oh. Well, that seems too easy. Roch. Yes. Mm, love and light. It is a very high honor. All for helping with the ascension that I have been working with for a very long time. And I appreciate it more than either of you could ever understand. Shh. Have you left a uh, bloodline after yourself on Earth? Bloodline, yes. In humans. Are uh, anybody of those uh, present at, the, at this uh, gathering at the moment? Obviously, this conduit. Oh. And there is my blood that runs through most humans, but it is concentrated with those who are hybridized with Lyran. Further. In a sense. I am one of the most ancient Lyran's bloodlines. Yes. I understand. So I every one of us has a little bit of your DNA. Bless you all and I appreciate your work. I will come through once again. I just only wanted to introduce myself. Oh. Oh. We all old friends. We all already know each other. I just wanted to remind you of that I am I am leaving as well. Muha. Muha. Namaste, Tucker. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tucker. Namaste. Muha. I wish to leave too. It was a very high honor. Greetings to you all. Goodbye, Ahatakini. It's nice to meet you. Farewell. It is a pleasure and a very high honor. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Bye, take care. Bye, Ahatakini. Bye, Rock. <sighs> That was freaking crazy, man. <laughs> Nick, that's why I wanted to ask you real quick, is when you come out of that, when you guys come out of that, like you and Jaguar also, um, Jim explained it, but when you guys come out of trance, do you have any recollection, just a little bit? Well, like... It, like what I was said? It, yeah. Honestly, ever since I started, these things have been recorded, I have been watching them over and over because all the information is nothing. It's It's... It's what I've learned throughout my whole life, but it's coming in a way that I never heard of in my own yes. life. Very it's understandable. Not even from me, it's from all. I'll go the check if the saucer still hangs out over there. I didn't yeah. see. It so I have to. I keep watching them over and over because I want to learn these things. <laughs> exactly. There's also different types of channeling. Like um, there's full trance, there's partial, yeah. there's telepathy. The one difference that I've experienced is the Shikani are just more of a telepathic it's not as much of a feeling in the body when it is left. Yeah. Like, all the, most of the entities are, you know, when they come physicalized like this, it, like Michael was so heavy. 
Yes, the energy. Could, and then high. Rock was just as big almost. He was if not heavier because he's actually from closer to the third dimension. So yes. he and 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 Aunt Michael's from the seventh. So just now, like I when when Rock I guess left, I I was I, it took me a few seconds to just remember where I was because yeah. I was in Egypt. I don't even like he's from he's like on the other side of the planet. That's so cool. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Your consciousness. He, like, he has like stripes or something. He's like a white tiger and an orange tiger. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Your your consciousness when it moves aside or just there, you're kind of there present. Also, your your essence. Yeah. Do when you, they uh, teleport, I see. Yeah. Them. Like I could see the top of Jim's house. Oh wow. It's crazy. And then people so I do cool. private sessions for, like the general came through once, and then he teleported to their house, and he said this, and then after a minute. The dog started barking at nothing. And she's like, "Oh, the dog's barking." I'm like, "Oh." And then, then the general's like, "Oh, sorry, that is me. I'm gonna leave now. I just wanted you to know that I was here." Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, just for another miracle. When you saw our house, did you see our cars parked nearby? Jim's house. Uh, I just, I see a flash. I see grass and. Yeah. What is the driveway? Maybe rocks or something. No, it's it's cement. It's it tar. Gray? Tar, yeah. Black. Yeah. See, I can't really. I just I had flashes of just like. The top of the house. Sun, yeah. I just had flashes of it being sunny with a little bit of clouds. Yep, that's true. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I could, I didn't like, I just saw it. I just looked down and he's just like giving me enough information to know that I was there. Okay. Did right. you see me jumping out because I went out to see you? In a sense, when, when, when he comes through, my I'm directly connected with his optics as well. Uh -huh. I, I couldn't see. There was clouds. There was sun, but there were clouds, and I didn't see any, anything. Uh, yeah, any, not you probably mean, wouldn't. You, yeah, it would be, you'd have to look, because the way it was is he's directly above, like a few hundred yards up. But I don't know if he stayed there now, but, you know. He probably wasn't in another well, dimension. Well, I he's could... probably gonna be there for a little while. He's doing some work energetically because you guys created a lot of vortexes with all the Reiki and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm sh I'm sure they're so excited about what happened because we are very excited, but they are also excited. <laughs> yeah, there is a vortex in my living room because I do Reiki here, and it's when people come in, they feel very calm when they come here, and also the chair that I meditate on. I had a lady sit in there, and she kept saying, I kept floating out of the chair, and I said, that's my meditation chair, and she goes, well, I thought, she goes, I didn't want to sit there anymore, because I kept felt like I was going to leave. Yeah, those so, vortexes get really, they start spinning faster and faster. And they're really going, Comfortable yeah. for guests. Yeah. In, in my Reiki room, I, I have a bean, uh, you know, a cloud of energy, which I can measure with a, sensor so I can really map it and it kind of moves around and becomes bigger and smaller and kids really love to measure it because yes. it's something <laughs> tangible you can really map where it is and how it moves. Yes. Yeah, it's it's like in uh, Ghostbusters when they had that thing trying to look for the ghosts in the library. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is tangible. It is definitely tangible. And that's the great thing because you're bringing to the scientific, you're bringing to the scientific community, you know, some okay. evidence, some something to measure the energy levels, you know? Well, that's pretty cool. I feel pressure. Yeah. All right, here is a little commercial break. Uh, Nick, you need a new microphone. And uh, I found a great microphone for $38, which is studio quality. This is made by Samsung. Like This is a bigger one, Samsung. And uh, there is a smaller version. This is like $80 microphone. There is a smaller version. So if anybody wants to donate, Thirty-eight dollars. I will order it for Nick and ship it to Nick. Yeah, uh, that, that would greatly help the uh, audio. Now, Nick, you need to do something with your camera. Every time you speak, <laughs> you bend down, and we see on the top of your head. I'm on a laptop here, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so. Um, well, I, I. It's hard to hold my hands and hold them. I need. I, I wish I could use my Bluetooth. That would be perfect, but. <laughs> 
Uh, you know, Bluetooth Samsung. doesn't give you good quality. Actually, Bluetooth loses lots of quality. So you need Samsung USB microphone. That's yeah. Well, it, well, it would be easier with a microphone on my head. Oh yeah, that would help also. I, I, then so I could so. Move and you'd never lose the thing, you know. So you need a headset. Doesn't make it you prefer a headset. Yeah. All right. So so I invite donations to towards uh, Nick's microphone because uh, his channelings will. Uh, tremendously improve if we hear him. Yeah, <laughs> I can barely oh. hear myself in the videos some of the times, and I have to like listen to it again. <laughs> so what? Because the microphone. Is, I don't even know where this came from. On the screen, uh, basically the to bottom row is is taken by these boxes with people. So when you bend down, your mouth is covered with these boxes. So you need some way to move your views. So you. Can you move your laptop hood in a way that we see only we don't see your head anymore, uh, top of your head anymore? Yeah, even b lower, lower, lower. Yeah, even more. My phone. And next time I could do it on my phone by itself. I could just do it on the Google Actually, Hangouts. Actually, you look pretty good now. That's well, yeah, good. I just moved in the picture little. here. Can yeah, I but say something? And now when he speaks there, he, oh, we can yes, see his. Mouth. Please say something. I I just want to say to everyone that watches the webinar and that will watch it later, um, you have a proof now that um, we have very interesting things going on and uh, there are these uh, ones that will help uh, people to channel if they want. So please don't be shy to join, just to communicate, to say hello to our group because we already know each other. The ones that have, uh, are brave enough to come and join the webinar, but uh, the others that are excited to listen to us, please just don't be shy. Say hello. It's very good feeling. It's nothing scary. I promise you. <laughs> How do you find out about coming webinars? Me personally, I listen to Bashar a lot, and uh, after that, I just got curious and wanted to see what I will find about people channeling uh -huh. other people other than Daryl. So I found you and Jim, and I just, you know, when you start listening to something and it just catches your attention, mm -hmm. I, I listened to, to James, who is on the colonies, the human telepath. Oh, yeah. So I I know James now. So <laughs> yes. So to, to so find to find invitations, uh, you we uh, have to go to humancolony.org and there is an announcement. Typically we do webinars on Saturday morning with Jim every Saturday morning New York time at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then you go to announcement. There are instructions. Very easy to set up a Google account and join us through. Uh, telephone, uh, smartphone, or smart pad, or uh, a laptop with a video camera, or um, we'll start doing the also participation via regular telephone, so you can call through telephone or Skype to telephone. Um, um, Ellie has some, oh. she she has some talents too. I don't know if she's ready to mention them, but <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, please mention them. Oh yeah, there's many of you have talents. Um, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I don't know if she's ready. So. Uh. Ellie. Ellie, do you want to in, uh, introduce your talents? Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Please unmute. Please, Sabrina, just start because uh, I'm I'm too shy to start. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we approve to expose your talents? Say um. yes. Yeah, 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 Okay, you guys... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Sounds like turkeys. <laughs> no, it's Arcturian. 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 Collective Arcturian. Yeah. They both have, so cool. Do you both know what you're saying? Do you know what you're saying? Yes. What do you say? 
she might know. I do not know, but I can feel the energy. And then, and then, I, I, I don't know if I'm laughing because. <laughs> well, it's a good, very fun. It's a fun energy. Yes. And you realize when Octorians speak, they say their intention before the sentence. So if the intention's love, they say the love and then the intention, hope and then the intention, and then the sentence. They 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 tell their intention before each sentence. Oh. And if they if they say the love and paragraph, then the whole paragraph is about a love of some sort. But they they're one of the few species that say their intention in every sentence. It's for love, it's for education, it's for need, it's for but they'll say that word first. They'll say love and then go and then need and and intention, emotion. Their their language is incredibly beautiful, I think. It's beautiful. Yes. Ellie, please unmute yourself. Yes. Uh, it's it's very nice for me to to do to do this and we will continue, I'm sure. So I I wanted to, to prove to myself and to everyone that watches, not only us that you you have to just to make the step to just believe and uh, and when you come in contact when uh, the intention is improve is is shown when you just make the step when you think about it and you don't do anything there is no intention there is just the thought but the intention is when you just start when you just say a and b will follow and it's very nice so everyone Amen. have have trust in yourself. Do you do you know what you're saying? Well, it's I I can I can guess no. that we are like uh, speaking very funny things like we don't know what we're saying but we're speaking because we want to prove ourselves that we can speak our <laughs> Arcturian. Uh, Ellie, Ellie, yeah, can yeah, you yeah. Say, Ellie, can you say uh, trust in yourself in Arcturian? Oh, um, I'm I'm too shy. I'm too shy. I I need more time. <laughs> Very good, Ellie. Um, but yes, that I could make out a little bit of it because they were letting me understand a little bit of it. But it okay. was all about love and trust and community, and and um, because they let me understand the first word of every sentence. Um, oh. And that's all I ended up really understood. But it was about love, trust, and community, friendship. And um, just community, a lot about community, actually. Jim, can you speak Arcturian? No. You have to trust yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I don't yet. <laughs> but hopefully the, I will be able to. I would love the to. Jim, the Arcturian that you had, he only came through once? Yes. And he spoke English. Oh, who did? Arcturian. Oh, okay. Good. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Okay. Twice. I haven't caught it on a video yet. I would also like to say. Oh, sorry, Ellie. Go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. I just wanted to to say what I know on Arcturian, and I'm sure about it. This is. This means I love you. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's kind of like sexy. Her. The way that you say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Very sexy. I love you. Yes. 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 Arcturian, I love you. And uh, <laughs> what's going on for you? <laughs> it's got that orgasmic quality to it. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there was that. There was that video somebody posted on Human Colony called "The New Human." Yes. And it showed this woman yes. doing healing. And I think she was speaking. Sounded exactly like what Ellie and Sabrina were. Yes. Yes. That was the Arcturian yeah. there. Yeah, so that was very that same voice. I can have the world be there. <laughs> yeah, I would also like to thank. No, it was beautiful, but I, not me. I would also like to thank Jaguar um, yeah. for channeling Ak Aha Takini, a uh, very distinguished um, Liren, sounds like, mm. and yeah, I'm sure he has a lot of knowledge. Jaguar, you're still there. Jaguar. Yes. Yes, Hello. and I, I want to take. Opportunity to say to Brian yes. that Aha wanted to to you 
he received your greetings, but uh, the flow of the session did not did not allow him to respond. So he left it, that information in. He wanted me to tell you that that he he heard you, but he didn't want to uh, speak uh, over uh, other other uh, people as they were communicating. I can feel that Jaguar. Thank you so much. Yes. Much love. To the, much love to the work that you are doing and continuing to do. Thank you. You guys are inspiring me. Thank you. Okay. Jaguar, do I speak? Uh, do you speak Arcturian? Uh, it's in. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> it's been quite surprising the last few days, last week, uh, many, many new, or maybe not so new, <laughs> new to my list, um, abilities have been coming but forth. Can, so you give us you a can you give us a blessing on Arcturian? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Can you translate? Um, it's. Um, I got part of it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Mm. That was the first. Hmm. What what? Yeah. Very, what was it? The very first word was blessing. Yes. And then on um, your homes, on your lives, on your dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. On on your endeavors, on what you are uh, trying to achieve as a group, as individuals, in your path, in your um, <laughs> love for self-expression, in your uh, highest excitement, in your callings, in the things that resonate with your heart, something like that. Yeah, something along, along those lines. Yes. <laughs> It's very, very ticklish energy. It is. <laughs> it's very funny. It's yeah. very ticklish. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. funny. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the intent always comes out first. I love mm. that. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Sabrina, that's, can you do a blessing, Sabrina? Mm -hmm. It's almost like bird like, you know? <laughs> Can you translate? That was a blessing, also. The first word. Mm, no. <laughs> Jim, can you translate? Jim? A little, of it, a little bit of it. The first word was blessing. Or, the, actually, the first word was this blessing. I'm not sure what the distinguishing is, but it was this blessing. And it was about um, raising your vibration and touching on your needs. And the part that was repetitive was saying, you can do it, it's coming, you can do it, it's coming. And then it went to uh, moving forward, moving up, moving forward, moving up. So, wow! And you will do it. You will do it. Yeah. It was the beginning was this blessing though, which is a little different. So. Uh, Eli, now it's your turn. Uh, maybe about the Earth, if you if you like. Are you on mute? If you unmute yourself. Wow. That's really good. The it's, first word was prayer on that one. Yeah, that was a prayer. Yes. That, I wanted to say that. You know, it yeah. sounded like a prayer. <laughs> yes, the first word was prayer on that one. But you know what? I didn't get what it was. I didn't. I didn't understand it. But the, I did get the first word prayer. Yes, no. I got. I got some of it. Uh, it has to do with unlocking your talents and um, uh, trusting yourself and uh, believing and uh, uh, opening up yes. what is already inside yourself and That's just weird. realizing, just uh, bringing it forth. It's already there. It's, it was very encouraging, the frequency. Yeah, so good. It was, I, I, would, was the first I would invite now Nick to do the same. Uh, Nick, I know you can, if, you, if, you, if you're in the mood. And also move move down your camera again. <laughs> <laughs> You're on mute right now. Hey, Nick? Yes. Well, I'm sorry. I Can listening. you do a blessing on Arcturian and move the camera down? Arcturian. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. 
down? Yes. There you go. We can see you now. Uh, see, that's the thing. I still have a difficult time deciphering which one is what language because I can, in a way, speak all of them. Oh, say a blessing in any language, but we invite Arcturian, and if any other language comes, that would be fine. Yeah, Especially most, for the my Earth. My native light language is Arcturian. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not sure, but... Okay. Um, もう手でせ、ですこんだいてけせなんど。ウォタナイさんごろとせや。ウォタナイアハンデラトライオケセ。マンタレヤサコワテ。プレロトンコラゾガスタ。モンネヤケトヤタラサ、アマンダラケンディ
Oh, place. maybe you had a Arcturian past life or something. Yeah, I, but I could understand some of the words. And they let me know that the intention is in all their sentences, their intention, which is fabulous. I love that. Because if we intentioned every one of our sentences, how could anybody misunderstand us? Okay. Oh, I have to say to that, Jim, that I have learned to speak with men in that way. I've had to tell them ahead of time. There's an, there's an emotion coming at you now. Be prepared. I can't. I women talk. I your speech, but I think that's beautiful. I really do. Hey, Jim. It is, it is, yeah. Uh, they really want to know if you chose a race yet. Who? You. Have I chosen a race for what? For your own hybridization. Ah, yes, I'll talk to them about that. Okay, yeah, the general wants to know. He's very eager to move forward with it. <laughs> oh, I see. I okay. Do you want me to tell you now? Yeah, he, he he's listening, so he, that's why he wanted me to ask. Okay, well, I I'm so Pleiadian in many <laughs> many ways. <laughs> But I would like a little bit of reptilian as well because I need it. <laughs> so they're gonna slowly. It's gonna be a slower process. You're gonna. It's you're gonna feel it. Yep. Uh, you might even feel it right now, starting. But um, they're gonna slowly infuse it, like like how they t they're gonna taper it in, in a sense. So it's not going to be all at once, because if you, they did it all at once at your age, it might be painful and might be destructive. Yes. They told me that I did not have any hybridization and that I was a special human. Yes. That's so all that's they why they're going to be very careful. They're going to be very slow low levels at first. Yes. But they add it, add it, add it as time goes on, depending on how your body reacts. Wow. Very cool. I will. I will. I will, so I will you want to be a dual... Happy about that. <laughs> Dual Pleiadian reptilian hybrid. I'll be what? A dual a dual Pleiadian reptilian hybridized human. Oh, okay. Choosing? Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right. Okay, Ken. I just want to say much love to the general. Thank you. Yes, much love to the general. He's been watching apparently all of us, so he, he's <laughs> He's everywhere, man. I believe his two hearts are in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. No. I, 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 I believe that they, they have a double... It's like a regular heart, but it's separated a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. It actually looks more like a heart symbol. Right, exactly. It's two. It's like two sections. Yeah. It's like Klingons, right? They had yeah. two hearts. Or the heart bottle, they can from. be more. Yeah. The heart symbol it. comes from reptilians' hearts, not humans. Ah, that makes sense to me, actually, in a way. It does. It now it just came clear to me. Can I ask something? Yeah. Um. Uh, can you pick if you want to be hybridized? Yes. Well, yeah, you you know, or oh, no, no, there are two different things. Oh, well, Jim is up to get an upgrade while in adult body. Yes. That's a different topic. Basically, yes, we are exchanging genetic information with others through bacteria which we get and through viruses and aliens can do a lot of other manipulation. But Sabrina, that's a good question and I will ask them next time. Oh, so if you want to upgrade now, you can. Yes, in human colonies, as a group, human colonies decided, in a sense, that they should, as an individual basis, be able to choose exactly what they want to be hybridized with. And now they're allowing anyone who wants it to do it, and they just you you make the contract. Oh wow! Okay. That's I, why I made it very clear before, as soon as they offered that exactly what I wanted and how I wanted it done and it started right after I sent it on the on the website. I have a certain percentage of Canadian and I'd like to know if I can get that higher. That would be an interesting question as well. Did anybody hear me? Yes, we heard what you said. So you have Pleiadian. Oh, there's a lot of noise. 
Okay. Yeah. That, that would be cool. Are, are there are there hybrid? Yeah, there's a lot of noise. Are there hybrid Ar Arcturians? There are, but there. I heard one channeler say there was a lot of them, but I have not run into very many. We, but I have run into some. We have ancient Arcturian DNA, but I'm not sure about recent. Um, I asked yeah, it really weird, at some really point. High up there in dimensions, they would be kind of. Yes. Really. I heard some another like channel would say there was a lot, but I haven't run into them at all. So. There's a lot of Arcturian souls, but about yeah. physical DNA, uh, we have ancient Arcturian for sure. So. All right. So we need to do a commercial at the end. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we, thank, uh, we thank very much the uh, helpers who sent us donation. You can go to humancolony.org, press the button donate. You can also email donations directly to me, Jim, and Nick. And uh, we invite private sessions. You can uh, speak to again to the extraterrestrials on the phone and through Skype. Uh, again, go to humancolony.org and sign up for donations. Contact Nick directly, contact Jim directly, sign up for private sessions. And we thank everybody for support. There is a lot of ways to support, and especially lots of special thanks to Ailey because she posts our videos on multiple sites, Lightworker sites, and from there we get oh, uh, private helpful? sessions that Jim can now pay for his for rent for his uh, for his apartment. That helps a lot. Yeah, so I had a really good couple weeks there. And fun. we uh, we thank everybody, Sabrina, for introduction to Rob, and all that also brought us more people and also more uh, support in any way, including private sessions for Jim. We invite more of that. And we thank everybody. And we th we also will do commercials. So today we did the first invited commercial. Brian, thank you very much for introducing us. Prepare yourself and introduce us next time for the newcomers. We want to expand. We kind of uh, hit the plateau. Now we want to go wider. A lot of people need us, and we need your help to bring our knowledge, our message to others. Well, I know that's coming, though. I really do. I feel that. The uh, law of attraction is really going to be kicking in here pretty soon. Yes, the, we are creating, in a sense, a gravitational vortex wow. with this group. We're pulling the collective consciousness to us. I believe that. That sounds exactly like what I was thinking. And we invite more in yeah. initiative and more leadership. I believe that is true. Yeah. Excellent. Right, Erica is saying that's how she got here today. She goes, "How did I get here today?" <laughs> really? So, so we invited more leadership. Please uh, make seeds. Uh, do more Facebook pages, more NIN groups, uh, more yeah, so websites. Many, yeah, so many of you there have been really helpful already. Rowie made a Facebook page. Yes. And I mean. Uh, Nick is making a groundteam.org page uh, website. So make more websites. Nick, I'm going to have to have a session with you eventually. Thank you. Sabrina got us on the radio. And you want more of that. <laughs> yeah, we want more of that. Yes. And uh, we're, uh, they had a great response, they said. And I got messages from people from that program that were actually on the program and listening. So. And another announcement. So uh, our, our friend contacted us, uh, LJ. Oh, sure, it was not LJ. It was G Jean. Yes. And gave me advice. Jean and she suggested... Instead of inviting money to specifically me, specifically Jim, uh, how about we create projects and invite money for the project? So one project is obviously studying alien languages. Another project is obviously helping channelers to open channels. The next project is obviously what we're doing. We find out who is doing what in exopolitics. So who is who in exopolitics? And we know more than anybody else about reptilians and near We have their ear, and we speak to General in Reptilians, and speak to the leader at Gurkfitni, one of the mo right. top leaders of Gurkfitni. I'm really scared about the insectoid that wants to come through. Well, this is amazing because we're bringing all of the aliens together here. Yes. Well, I, the, I was introduced to the insectoids when I was so young, and it was so, they're so scary looking, man. Yeah, they are. <laughs> So, so that's the project of exopolitics. There are other projects which we are starting right now. So we'll post these projects on the on the website, and uh, you can donate now to support specific project. And this money will go to support that project. Okay. 
and we do the blessing right now. Uh, how about the blessing for the uh, earth and seismologic health of the earth? Oh yeah, that's a, a big thing lately with Gurkvignir. Uh, the seismology and the geology, geology and all that. So let's do. Yes, that. Max. Just before that. Before that, right? And it's a segue. Yeah, yeah it's a perfect segue. Uh, I forgot uh, to say everything. Another effect of maintaining our bodies and taking care of ourselves is sunshine and grounding. Oh. Walking on grass. Uh, on the seashore or uh, by the bed of a river, being in touch with, with the earth, being grounded, physically grounded, and uh, having sunshine on our skin is also a very important aspect. So that's okay. a perfect segue on sharing our love with the earth and moving on to the blessing. Thank you. That's beautiful because that's very, very true. Very, very true. Thank you, energy of the universe that guides us and directs us and loves us. Heal our Mother Earth. She is she's hurting right now, but there are always reasons for pain. We must understand that we're in the third dimension and we're not out of pain yet, but we can control what happens. And with our intent, we can help Mother Earth to heal with our love, intent, our prayers, just whatever it takes to bring about the world to the, the highest pinnacle that it, we can reach, we call upon that energy, that love, that gods, those gods, those many things that happen to us when we, when we pray and feel the energy. I don't uh, have all the answers and I don't know where all the energy comes from, but I know that it's there, and I, I love the aliens, and I'm glad that they're helping us. Thank you, thank you so much for the work you're going, doing to help us survive, and to help us become enlightened. We praise you, and thank you all who are helping. Amen. 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 So. Amen. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Max. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Hello, guys. Thank you so much. Amen. Love you. Bye, Erica. And who else thank is there you, today? So much. Yes, thank, thank you for welcoming Nick. Erica here. And Sandy over there. Someone Hi, Sandy. I'm a religion and I said I'm a planeteer. A planeteer. Wonderful. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I love okay. it. Okay, blessings to everyone till next week. Blessings. Time to go. I'm hungry. May the force. May the have an amazing day. May everyone have an amazing day. Thank you, Ellie. May the force be with you. Thank you, Ellie. You too. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Jack.